EA Sports, in association with the PGA Tour, proudly presents the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today, it's live second-round coverage of the BioWare Classic. It is just an ideal day for golf. Rich Lerner alongside Frank Novello for EA Sports. We're getting set for all the action this afternoon at Wetlands Golf and Country Club in Florida. And this is certainly a challenge, Frank. It is. We really should rename it Drylands because that's the way you want to play this golf course. If you're not dry, then you are going to be wet. That swampland uh, is just uh, all the way around this golf course. Um, in between it, though, is fairway. So fairway, the goal all day today. And as always, with the state of Florida, you have to factor in the changing winds. Yeah. Well, that's just how you envision it when you walk to the first tee high and deep right in the middle of the fairway good way to start and now the second shot here at this par five Frank, this is a position where a player is absolutely licking his chops here. Good chance to make a birdie. Yeah, this is when this game just looks like fun. Bunkers don't seem to be in play. The only thing you're really looking at right now is just the flag. This is a good-looking shot. Excellent shot to within 10 feet. Made a par in his previous round. This time, it's for birdie. I'm just moving that much closer to the leader now, Rich. Now to the second, par three, 225 yards. This one's looking good. Well, that's how you play the game right there. Knock it on the green and give yourself a good look at birdie. Frank, this would be a nice way to jumpstart the round. Yeah, his momentum uh, can quickly go in the right direction if he makes this. Crawl. It looked like it was certainly going in. You don't want to let this one get away. This is about concentration and focus at this point. Workman like hole, he walks away with a par. We're at the third hole now at the wetlands. It's a par four, 460 yards. Frank, you watched the web.com tour event down here. And what did you see when the young bombers came to this hole? Oh, this is a hole they just love, Rich. You know, it's flat, it's long, and it's straight. So they just tee it up, aim it straight at the green, hit it as hard as they can. And uh, some of these guys were just going in with an eight or a nine on. It was quite amazing. And of course, when you go with an eight or a nine on into this hole, you look at three more often than not. I'm loving that balance. Well, that's got to be 300 yards, isn't it?
Second shot. Good look at the green. Distance control there, playing well to his strengths. Now this for birdie came away with par in the previous round. Came to the putt, excited to make birdie. Now, settle for par. Yeah, a little change in the uh, attitude right now. When you've let one go, you've got to really knuckle down there and make sure you don't drop a shot. It's important this one goes in. Did the job right there. Par three fourth, 250 yards, and you tee off just in front of the swamp, so golf cart's not going to get you to the green here, is it, Frank? No, it might need an airboat to go across that. Headed for the bunker, I think. Oh my goodness, that could have been really bad. Can you imagine if that kicks towards the bunker? This one just requires a little bit of focus. Good job right there, now making a move and setting himself up for, who knows, a good weekend run, maybe at another title. The former college standout has been excellent today. EA Sports, in association with the PGA Tour, proudly presents the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today, it's live third-round coverage of the BioWare Classic. Well, here we are at the Wetlands Golf and Country Club. We're located along the St. John's River in the Sunshine State, Florida. Rich Lerner alongside Frank Nabolo for EA Sports. Frank, what stands out when you look at the wetlands? Swampland, Gators, um, really it's a good driving golf course, Rich. Not a lot of fairway bunkers in play here at Wetlands, but um, you, if you drive the ball well here, you can, really can get a good score out here at Wetlands. Uh, they play the web.com here every now and again, so um, we've seen some good scores over the years, but uh, always fun to be playing in uh, Florida. Sun on your back, warm golf conditions. 
Par 4 sixth here at the wetlands, 440 yards and water to deal with. Two choices here, Rich. Lay it up short of the wetlands or, oh, well, chance it, brave enough, tee it up and flash it across the wetlands to just a mere short iron into this lengthy par 4. This the second shot here at the par four. safely aboard. Getting set now over the putt. Couldn't ask for much more than that, except to make it. Keep the round going, those par putts. Here's another scoring opportunity, Frank, a par five. The seventh is just a shade under 600 yards. And it bends gently to the left, Rich. Longer hitters can obviously get home and nothing really to be worrying about with that second shot if you can reach. The wetlands are well to the right of this hole um, for the second shot. But uh, if you want to play to the three-shotter, then that's a very safe, conservative way and really shouldn't cause you any problems whatsoever. He has given this one the full treatment. Perfect release through the ball. And this shot he is on the fairway, over 300 yards. Second from an excellent lie. Frank, really good chance from this position to make a birdie. Yeah, really the only thing he's looking at right now is the flag. Uh, this is a green light special.
Well, he gave us a demonstration today why he's one of the best in the sport. Every green hit in regulation. Really not much to this. The only issue would be a lack of concentration or focus. Headed in the right direction with that birdie. Just sneaks into the top ten. It's a good move this week. On to the eighth. It's a par three, 203 yards. What's going on here, Frank? Interesting par three, really. It, it, it looks anything other than a straightaway hole. That bunker short of this green gives you like an optical illusion. You think it's lapping up with the front of this green, but it's actually you know, sort of three or four yards before you get to the putting surface. Um, a little bit of a drop off behind this green, and it narrows out the deeper the green gets. So uh, a tricky little par three. Good, clean contact and a nice result. And a chance for birdie coming up. See if he can get something going here. Two straight birdies. Good try. Just didn't quite read the break, Frank. Uh, it shouldn't be a problem, you'd think, cleaning up here for Pop. Makeable putt right here, currently sitting at one under for the round. He'll take par and move on. The ninth hole, Frank, is a muscular par five, 621 yards. You see why uh, length is a huge advantage of this golf course, um, just under 7,700 yards. This hole here, another example, good tee shot. Perhaps think of going for the par five and two, but a great collection of three bunkers that sort of annoy you with your layup there. You've got to make sure you avoid all of those to leave yourself a nice little wedge shot in here if you can't reach it, the two. Well, that is a really good tee shot right there, Frank. I think that tipped the 300-yard mark. Second shot. That's an absolute beauty. He's set up for his third shot here, looking to get it on the green with this. That is classy. Not a chance of going in. Made par yesterday, this one for birdie. Frank, you've navigated so many leaderboards in your career. This is the way to do it, isn't it? Oh, there's plenty of holes ahead too, Rich. Third place, a really good position to be playing from here on in. Well, that was a nearly flawless performance on the front side, but Frank, we know it's an 18-hole game, isn't it? That's right. Now's not the time to pat yourself on the back. Not quite what he wanted. Tee shot is in the bunker. Well, bunker play is really about technique and feel. The two greatest ever are probably Gary Player and Seve Ballesteros. Seve actually was so good, he was so skilled, that he could open up a three iron. That's right, a three iron on a short bunker shot from a green side bunker and splash it to a couple of feet as if he had just used a 60-degree sandwich. Amazing. 
locked in on the read and the speed. Doesn't dig into the lead with that par, but Frank, sometimes, and you know this as well as anyone, you just have to kind of maintain your footing out there. Par 4, 11th hole, 443 yards. Frank, what's the best way to play it? Nice straight drive off the tee, then uh, really reduces this par 4 to size. Then those bunkers, short and left, don't really cause an issue. Green's a little tiny, though, but uh, even if you miss the green a little bit on the right side, it's a relatively simple chip. Frank, this is a way to make golf easy when you can hit it that deep. Oh, I'm going to say, I know that first number's a three. I'm guessing the second one's a two. Let's call it 320. Good looking shot right here. So the second of the par four goes begging, and now I'll have to rely on the short game. Yeah, but a short game, as we all know, can uh, redeem a lot of mistakes. Let's see if he does it here. Nice approach shot. He'll be happy with that. Not a gimme, but well within his range. That was a good-looking putt, just not falling right now. No, sadly, he's going to be disappointed. This to surrender, only one shot. So not his best work. He'll walk away with a boat. Frank, that was a great day of golf. My only question now is, how are we getting back? How are we getting home from here? Oh, Rich, there's only one way. That's the airboat. We're in Florida. Rev it up. What a super day of golf we saw here at the Wetlands Golf and Country Club along the St. John's River. For Frank Nabilo, I'm Rich Lerner, saying so long from all of us at EA Sports. EA Sports, in association with the PGA Tour, proudly presents the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today, it's live final round coverage of the BioWare Classic. Hello again and welcome. Rich Lerner alongside my colleague Frank Nabilo for EA Sports. Getting set to go at the Wetlands Golf and Country Club. We're located along the St. John's River in the great state of Florida. Final par five on the back side here at the wetlands. It's 590 yards. Which is really a tempting yardage. A good tee shot, perhaps. Think of reaching the par five and two. But uh, this green, well protected by three bunkers. Two on the left side and one short right. But uh, uh, fortune favors the brave. At least that's what I was told. Nicely played shot. About 310 yards down the fairway. Nice position. Short grass. Second shot. That was a big, bold strike, and now a chance for a big, bold move. 
Hut for Eagle coming up. This is a cross-country special. You can't leave it short, Frank. Oh, and especially right in the middle. Settles in over the putt. <laughs> and good birdie right there, Frank. Oh, time to get another cup of coffee. Things are heating up. 16th hole at the Wetlands is a par four, 455 yards. Once again, another reward for a straight tee shot, uh, but this green heavily guarded by sand. So, good tee shot, uh, and well, this one, you're gonna have to hit one of the better iron shots required at Wetlands. Wow, that is a monster drive down there, about 315 yards. Second shot, good look at the green. Another good swing, and it looks like, Frank, another really good shot. Wow, Frank, he is dialed in. Yeah, that was just some shot on that. Easy birdie. Made a par in his previous round. This time, it's for birdie. Well, very impressive and on the move right now. Seventeenth at the Wetlands, par three, 238 yards. Frank, how would you describe this hole? Well, it's a hole really that shapes up well for a nice little high draw. See the angle of the green pointing slightly to the right. A nice little draw into this par three, and that'll find the nice avenue. Maybe a kick forward, 15, 20 feet left for birdie. And if you birdied 16, chance to birdie 17 as well. Well, the tee shot has landed in the bunker. All right, so greenside bunker. What's he looking to do with this shot, Frank? Well, really, you have to look at the amount of green you got to play with. You don't have to try and fly the ball right by the flag. Allow it to run. Plus, if you can get it to run like a putt, you never know. It might just go in. A beautiful, soft touch out of the bunker. That's Mickelson-esque. Shouldn't be a problem here. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that par putt. Well, this is it, Frank, the 18th hole. And on paper, it looks like you can get this one. You can make a birdie because it's only 377 yards. You're exactly right, Rich. Just a nice drive. Doesn't even have to be a driver here. It's going to set you up a uh, really short iron wedge into this short par four. And um, well, I always like to finish on a birdie. I know you do too because a little walk to the clubhouse there on the left, maybe a hot dog or a hamburger. Good contact, good result. Frank couldn't ask for anything more. Uh, just the lie there, too. It is sitting up like it's teed up. Chance to get it close here.
Well, that is an exceptional shot on the green and in position for a birdie. Yeah, it's a full melody now. Now this for birdie came away with par in the previous round. Thundering up the leaderboard, 10 under par for the tournament. What a birdie. Frank, solid effort today. What's your assessment? Um, golf like that can certainly uh, result in wins, that's for sure. But um, more importantly, the opportunity to get one. This is EA Sports coverage of the PGA Tour. Simply put, there is nothing like it in the game of golf. It is by far the biggest spectator event in the sport. We're at TPC Scottsdale in Scottsdale, Arizona. Hello again and welcome. Rich Lerner alongside my friend and colleague Frank Navalo. And Frank, what can you tell us about this golf course? Well, everybody wants to know about 16, the famed par three here, surrounded by those sky boxes. Uh, once again, that'll be a topic of the day. But really, this is a regular site for the PGA Tour. So those of you that were familiar with the golf course, it's now changed. 2014, the designers Morris and Weisskopf did a massive renovation. Well over 100,000 fans every day, better than a half a million for the week. It's a giant party mixed in with a heck of a tournament. Oh, it's fun. Frank, you've played in conditions all over the world. Here come the winds now. What's the mindset? Well, this is really what separates the men from the boys. This is where you've got to tell yourself, and it's an advantage to you. Um, obviously, the scores will go up a little bit. Um, given the conditions but once again this is going to suit the stronger player today you like the old phrase swing easy when it's breezy definitely when you're hitting it to a head breeze but um if down breeze tear it up a little bit try and ride that wind some more what a nice shot right on the green and a pretty easy putt on the way 12 feet still to go Frank, that looked good to me. Well, there's an opportunity wasted. 
just knock it in for a par and let's forget about this one. Um, golf is not about perfect, but it's going to hurt the course. Did the job right there. Been some outstanding shot making to this point. Let's see what's happening now as we resume the action at the seventh. Has not been a stellar performance to this point, but Frank, not too bad. Now, when you consider four-round events, Rich, you're going to have a period where it's a, there's a little lull. As long as you can minimize the damage over the course of four days, it turns out all right. This one looks like it's headed right for the middle of the dance floor, Frank. Rather nice shot, I would say. And it generates some momentum here at the seventh hole. This for birdie. Birdie chance here. Very long putt, though. Got to be a little careful if it gets away on him. You couldn't ask for much more than that, except to make it. Standing over this putt, concentrating on the read. That's a par, and that keeps the scorecard clean, still even for the round. Frank, the par four eight. This is a good hole. It is uh, a dog leg to the left, forces the player to go at the right, and uh, this will play every inch of its yardage, which is over 470 yards. Green's still pretty much the same with that false front, um, unless there's a uh, flag position in the front. You're really going to have to fly it at least 20 yards or so into that green, otherwise that ball is going to run towards the front. Well, those are good numbers right there. 3-2-0, 320 yards, just Brushed it in the fairway. And he's set up for his second shot here, looking to knock it on the green. Oh, you can't hide the flagstick from that man. He is just uh, unbelievable, that. That never deviated offline. These putts keep the round together. He's setting himself up for a good weekend. A former college number one makes another birdie. Finishing out the front side now at the ninth. And Frank, what do you think of this par four? Nice way to finish the front nine, Rich. Very thin green uh, protected by that little splash bunker in the front. Um, iron players get a real advantage here. One bunker down the right side to be aware of off the tee, though. And I doubt anybody could carry that. Long and straight. That's how you do it. Well, this is going to be an interesting day. The wind is howling, or as they would say in Scotland, just a wee breeze. Setting up for an approach shot here. Well, this is the kind of wind that separates the great players from the average players. You really have to be strong to handle these kinds of winds. Oh, solid strike right in the heart of the green. That will be a great look at birdie.
So coming off the birdie on the previous hole, a chance now for yet another one. And momentum all in his favor. And with that birdie, moves into second place. Excellent front side, trying to keep it going here on the second nine. He's just playing beautifully, hitting so many good shots, giving himself so many opportunities. Can he keep it going? Well, that's got to be 300 yards, isn't it? Frank, this is a position where a player is absolutely licking his chops here. Good chance to make a birdie. Yeah, this is when this game just looks like fun. Bunkers don't seem to be in play. The only thing you're really looking at right now is just the flag. Well, that is a ball striking clinic right there. Another dazzling approach shot. Pretty close. Not a gimme, but well within his range. That was a nice birdie, and no doubt he's feeling pretty good about his position on this leaderboard. A series of good holes in a row has got him to this point. On to the par four 11th hole. Frank, what's the best play here? No bunkers really here to worry about, Rich, so you have to pick something in the distance as a good line. Something a little bit away from the water that protects the left side of this fairway. And uh, it's adjacent to the 15th hole, the other par five coming home. So a good drive, perhaps with a little bit of cut off the tee. And that should shape up nicely for this long par four. That's nice to roll in a 25 footer now and then. Those feel good. But still, there's nothing like hitting that perfect tee ball. Long and straight. Yeah, you can puff out your chest, uh, last to play, the advantage, holes shorter. Basically, the list goes on. Early part of this second nine, a good approach shot. Now, pretty good chance for birdie. Been pretty good all day from this distance, just trying to take care of business. Just a little too much juice on that birdie putt, Frank. It was bold, very bold. For the par. Oh, that was nasty. That's an outrage right there. I mean, if there's a high commission of, of golfdom, we need to consult them right now because it's just simply not fair, Frank. It's not. I think the people above are frowning and the people below. Second round coverage coming your way tomorrow. For our entire crew, I'm Rich Lerner alongside Frank Navalo. So long for now. EA Sports is proud to present PGA Tour coverage. Welcome to the stadium course, TPC Scottsdale in Arizona. It's a masterful blend of challenge and playability designed by the team of Tom Weisskopf and Jay Morish. Rich Lerner alongside Frank Novello for EA Sports. The changes, Rich, they made in 2014 have just added a luster 
to this great venue that uh, hosts the PGA Tour event each and every year. And it's a great test for any level of play. Par four sixth and Frank, a couple of options here. Yeah, a hole that bends to the left. Uh, a draw is the preferred shot off the tee. Uh, the longer hitters will have a big advantage. They'll be able to get it down there and just have a uh, pitch or a short wedge into this. If you're not, uh, well, that long, then you're going to have to lay it back short of those bunkers. That's going to leave a lengthy second shot. Second shot. Good look at the green. Seems to like it. Looks like it's headed for the green. Wow, Frank, he is dialed in. Yeah, that was just some shot on that. Easy birdie. Birdie putt coming up. Had a par on this hole yesterday. Well, the time is now to start making birdies, and there we go. One on the board, and suddenly inside the top 20. Yeah, nothing to be ashamed of in that, but uh, really, you've got to be aggressive from here on in. Getting set for this next shot from the rough, what does the player need to be careful of here, Frank? Well, this is where we're going to see exactly how good they are because, you know, that's not exactly the best lie, but it's sort of doable if you, if you know what you're doing. Well, that's what separates the good players from the great players, the ability to get it that close from that kind of lie. So close, Frank. Just time to forget that one. I mean, you couldn't hit that much better. Getting set now over the putt. That's a bogey. Yo, eyes a little again. Back to 29. This is a good hole, Frank. The par four eighth. Yet another dog leg left, Rich, on the front side. Um, and it's a sharper dog leg now because they've put in two bunkers down the left side. It used to be a bailout area for the players in the past. You can't do that anymore. And I doubt anybody can fly it over that uh, left one. It's nearly 300 yard, 330 yards to carry that in the air. Uh, those two bunkers have forced the players to go out to the right, making that second shot a little bit longer now. Well, that's the way you draw it up here at the A. You want to get it out there. He's done that, and he's kept it in the fairway. Frank, really good chance from this position to make a birdie. Yeah, really the only thing he's looking at right now is the flag. Uh, this is a green light special. Okay, well, come on, Stram, sir. Hey, ultimate to feel a spin though. What do you try up next? That's Made a par long, in this previous long, round. This time kiddie. it's for birdie. And that's off drawn, huh? so it's in Kony. You from begin with Oh, I saw off drawn a gram net biggie. So Yeah, yeah. but that's a head scratcher. No yeah, other way yeah. to put it. That close to the green and misses it. Flipper more like a green die. If you hit enough shots, every now and again, one's gonna go in. Crazy, crazy. Oh, bar. 
Rounding out the front nine with a par four of 453 yards from the back tee. Looks to be straight away here, Frank. Anything to be cautious about on this tee shot? Well, that bunker, there used to be two bunkers down the right side. There is now one, and it also pinches into the fairway, which almost makes this hole look like a faint dogleg right. But uh, really, the, the best line is still down the left side, so it still actually suits a draw off the tee. Green is slightly elevated, and not very deep, too. So judging that second shot, getting the right club is essential here at nine. Optrande and Biki Rags. Brian should always want to try. Frank going back a hundred years or more. We used to see winning scores in stroke play tournaments, 72 whole events of 300 thereabouts. But obviously, like so many things in golf, Say, that's everything right. has improved. Birdie definitely. Yeah, people would scoff at sort of saying 475s would win a US Open um, or a British Open. It, it, it didn't, and it does. Um, but, you know, with equipment, and, and people have really got into the game, they've worked it out, and they just they just playing got better at it. They, they realize that, uh, you know, stroke play, you, you can't just you know, swing from the trees, so to speak. You've really got to work your way around and get better. Um, you just can't sort of settle for mediocrity. Coming off that exciting front side, we are set to go on the back nine here at the TPC Scottsdale. Rich Lerner alongside Frank Navalo for EA Sports. Just a gorgeous afternoon. Great crowds as always, and you can feel the excitement building, Frank. Oh, you certainly can, and the 10th hole's being changed uh, quite considerably. You used to bail out down the left side, Rich, but they put a little bunker down there that sort of stops that play. And for the ones that tried to drive directly at the green, there's a little bunker that's hidden in the distance that sort of stop you uh, going on that line. So it really has to be respected. And um, the 428, or the rather modest 428 yards there, will play a little longer because this will play as a true dogleg right par four. Lung so the term and loop. Here's to be what they call a commercial play, very solid. Just a case of a hole suiting the player's eye. Made the birdie yesterday, and he has a good chance to make another one today. Birdie try again here today. I'm sneaking into contention here. For that birdie. Top 15 now on the leaderboard. Now at the par for 11th, Frank, I really like this hole. Well, you might be the only one, Rich, because this is an absolute scorecard wrecker. Water all the way down the left side. There's two bunkers. Don't worry about that. They're not off the tee. They're around the green. They protect the left front and the back. If you think you can bail out down the right side, well, you could find cactus and all sorts of crazy things down the right. And believe me, go down there, more than anything, they'll wreck your scorecard as well. Nothing to argue about there. Right in the fairway. Ready for a second shot, trying oh, to knock it on the green. Here, I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm going to try to bounce. And this is looking really good. Well, that's how you play the game. I'm going to try to get too much to spin, but I'm not going to go. Just needs to keep it steady here over the putt. Moves into the top ten with that birdie. 
Frank, right where you want to be at the midway point of a tournament. Yeah, you know your game's solid. Um, the focus is more on the leader and that you can just go out and play. Uh, excellent position to be in. Fourth, yes, this is EA Sports PGA Tour coverage coming your way. Set in the Sonoran Desert and surrounded by the majestic McDowell Mountains, we're at the stadium course at TPC Scottsdale in Arizona. Hello again and welcome Rich Lerner alongside Frank Navalo, set to bring you all the action for today's event. Frank, when you think about the TPC Scottsdale, what's the first thing that comes to your mind? The golf course has been radically changed in 2014, but it still hasn't lost its luster. Really, it's just been updated like the game itself for these young, strong players of the modern era. Par 5 13, chance for birdie or maybe even eagle if you're bold and brave enough, but also, Frank, chance for disaster here? Well, there is. Water very much in play down the right side. There's a bunker down the left, too. If you finish up in that, there's no way you're going for this par 5 and 2. Then it becomes a little bit of a zigzag mission. Um, the second shot either has to be hit down the right side, just skirting that bunker in the front, or it has to be all carry. Second shot. Go. Okay. Sure, that is a little bank of my bounce can look and say mine for Kirt Viesma. Ay, 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 and I could eat problem. Um, I quit me what I'm to do, Medini. Um, yeah, you can have a problem with this. Frank, which way is this headed? Well, judging by his uh, body English, it looks like it's heading a little right. There is a bit of green out there, though. If that was a big, bold strike, and now a chance for a big, bold move. Putt for Eagle coming up. This is a long putt. Really, the key is the speed. If it drops, that's a bonus. Well... Traum. Ay. Nog meer langs. Always two components Ooh. to the long lag putt, the speed number one, and then the read. And missed out on that second part. You don't want to let this one get away. This is about concentration and focus at this point. Yeah. Ay. Oh my goodness, how did he miss that? Yes, Sam. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> Even par currently. <laughs> uh, okay. Frank, that's a par, and onward we go. Par four, fourteen. Frank, it seems as though you'd be pretty happy with a par here. You would, uh, even though the putting surfaces here at uh, TPC Scottsdale are excellent. It's going to take two good shots to reach this fourteenth hole. You can get in a little bit of trouble off the tee. That bunker on the left very much oh, shit. The rough on the right side is no snack either because the ball more often than not will damn it. well above the player's feet. And of course that green is that that really narrow, well protected by bunkers on the left. Not good at all. It's on the way. I got my cons for the minute on. I think this one looks like it might have a postage stamp on it. Airmail City. Yeah, look at it. Spin. it. <laughs> wow, lucky break right there, Frank. Well, that's what everyone else is going to say, except him. 
Birdie chance here. Very long putt, though. Got to be a little careful if it gets away on him. Nee, alweer niet genoeg niet. How does that not get? Yes. Amazing. The stroke looked good. Uh, line looked good. Just did not take that final break. A little bit more to the right than I had it. Not a gimme, but well within his range. Damn it. Solid par. Now at the par 5 15th, and Frank, there is plenty to catch your eye. There's also quite a bit to catch your ear. You can hear the roars at the par. He's loading up on it. Look at the coil there. Yeah, boy. Oh, I like that. Oh, this looks good. It certainly is. Frank, one of the great moments mm. in tournament history here in Scottsdale. You go back to 1996, the sudden death playoff between Phil Mickelson and Justin Leonard. Mickelson has always been the hero out here because he went to Arizona State. Yeah, and it still runs through his veins, Rich. Uh, it was such an important win for him because to do it in front of people that he considered his home crowd uh, was huge. And then also uh, in a playoff. It's been right? a for bait. Obviously, you know it's win or lose. So for Mickelson, 1996, NTPC Scottsdale. Certainly ring home. Bird to birdie to crema. Eagle. Yes. Frank, I'm not Good saying you should pull out a driver here, but this is a long putt. Greens are fast though. You never know. Good line, good pace. Might have a chance. Mm. That was not a very good read right there. Oh well, it's fair. It's in dark foot. But fuck yeah, it's not a flipping putting king. And getting ready for the putt. I'm putting iron cream. The move. Leaderboard very volatile at the moment, so a lot of move in that middle piece of the leaderboard. Top 20 so far. Well, partner, here we go. Players have characterized it as terrifying, chaotic, amazing. The stadium atmosphere here at this hole, the 16th of par 3, is really spectacular, isn't it, Frank? It is. Because of the atmosphere, the number of people, this is the closest a golfer gets to, like, kicking a, a field goal in a Super Bowl. It's just surrounded by people. It's not really the difficulty of the hole. Just over 160 yards, a modest par three. There's no water in trouble. But it's an atmosphere that golfers never normally are familiar with. Yet another birdie, and on the mark, seven under for the tournament. Now to the 17th, and Frank, fair to say, this is one of the best short par fours in all of golf. It is. The, the drivable par four that's designed the way it's meant to be played is a winner. The ones that are just shortened to be made drivable, they don't work. This was designed, was designed to be a 17th hole, and it was designed to be drivable. You couldn't get a better place, and you couldn't get a better par four. Frank, Damn it, that was so close to what you uh, flipping green to this. It is sitting up Damn like it. it's teed up. I said no one can work it. Second shot. Good look at the green. Oh, man, yes. Birdie try up next. Damn it. So I was in. I was in. Anyway. 17 foot pot here. Flat needy. Off drawn on me. Okay, start on me bad thing. All things pointed to a good week. Pretty there, very important right now. Playing some good golf. 
Rich, 18 was always considered a long finishing hole. Not for J.B. Holmes. Yeah, the water was always in play. And then the day he took it over the left side and carried everything and went on to win, that completely changed the way this golf course played ever since that day. And it resulted in some of the changes we're seeing now. Yeah, um, evidence, the new bunkering down the left side. But it also, it showed us all how much and how strong these guys are, how much they've improved over the years. Officials are calling that one around 310 yards. Hmm. Frank, really good chance from this position to make a birdie. Yeah, really the only thing he's looking at right now is the flag. Uh, this is a green light special. Well, this one should be safely on deck here. Whoa! Continuing his fine play, another beautiful approach shot. See if he can go one better than yesterday when he made par. This putt for birdie. Here we go. Really hitting on all some cylinders. improvement. Nine under for the tournament. Final round coverage comes your way tomorrow for our entire crew. I'm Rich Lerner saying thanks for being with us on EA Sports and so long for now. Kan op neer gaan daar. Oké. This is EA Sports coverage of the PGA Tour. Ja, als ik maar ga naar de Here at the TPC Scottsdale in Arizona, and Frank, when so many people tune in to watch this great event, they think immediately of the 16th hole with all of those fans jammed in. It's like Fenway Park inside the desert there. But it's much more than that little par three, isn't it? It certainly is more than that, Rich. The TPC Scottsdale is a great venue for a PGA Tour event. It's a blend of everything, birdie opportunities, holes that are fraught by water, bunkering that's being changed. All in all, it's a great atmosphere with nearly half a million people that visit this during the tournament week. Uh, fake. Uh, he's a price for that. I could think yeah, when you don't see the top of the ball uh, in the yeah. rough, you know it's not sitting pretty. Very selfta. I could see the green selfta good in the vorige keer. Precies die selfta. So Frankie yeah. is leaning, and it appears as though this one's headed a bit right. Yeah, it just came out of it. Coming out of the rough and right up next to the hole. Locked in on the read and the speed. This could oh. be a game coach, there's an opportunity wasted. Damn it! Just knocking him for a par and you didn't let's tap forget about this one. Um, golf yeah. is not about perfect, but it is going to hurt the course. Gonna bury the dog, Kret. Drops for a <sighs> All right, Frank, now the fun begins. We are teed up at the par 5 15th hole. Plenty to talk about here. Yeah, the fairway down the left side is anything other than straight. It's more like a shipwreck, the raggedness of it. And that water in play, well, if you do find one on the fairway, you can sort of always wave across to the people that are walking down the 11th hole. 
Find the fairway, you can reach this par 5 and 2. A little bit of an island looking green there, bunker on the left, and also another bunker just short right. But a fairway missed here. Now you can rack up 5, 6, 7. We've seen all sorts of scores here at 15. Long and straight. That's how you do it. He just blasted that one down the fairway. Out there about 325 yards. Playing his second shot here at the par 5. safely on deck. Well, couldn't have done much better than that, and the eagle is looking very likely now. Shouldn't be a problem here, but not a formality either. Pretty much doing everything here we go. This week. First the eagle for the of this tournament. Here we are at the 16th hole, looking at just over 160 yards. Doesn't seem all that daunting, Frank. But 160 yards with 20,000 people, horned into a little stadium in the desert, that makes it a different story. It certainly is. This was one hole, too, where Tom Watson would send his caddy forward. He would stay back by 15. His caddy would get his yardage. Watson would simply walk on the tee. His caddy would give him the club. He would not go through his normal routine. He would simply just head away. It was one hole that he never wanted to think about. It might look simple, but it's what the player feels. This is a nine-footer. Continues to roll it very well all day long. Frank, when you get to the 17th hole, we always recall maybe the single most bizarre shot in the history of golf. Yeah, everybody talks about maybe a hole-in-one at 16, but really 17, and the player was Andrew McGee. It was a good tee shot, don't get me wrong, but Rich needed an assist. Well, the assist came from Tom Byram, whose brother Kurt is a commentator for the Golf Channel. Tom Byram was just no minding his own business, way. standing on the green, sort of leaning on his putter, and you know what happened. Damn it. Yeah, the ball hit Tom Byron's putter and then Kareem into the hole. So, 17. Made famous a little bit of history with a couple of names to drag up from the past. So the second of the par four goes begging and now I'll have to rely on the short game. Yeah, but a short game, as we all know, can uh, redeem a lot of mistakes. See if he does it here. Ah, uh, gonna you can eat Tony. Oh, save the ball there. It's a nice Black birdie humor. right there. Could not have come at a better time. Ah, oh, birdie, I mean. Third place now. Well, again, the fairways are lined with those huge galleries coming off 16 and 17. Now the finishing hole here at TPC Scottsdale and Frank. What can we expect? Well, this is a goodie. It'll play slightly as a dog leg left. Now, many a year, a player would try and carry the ball all the way over that water down the left side. But those new bunkers down there, it stopped the J.B. Holmes attack on this par four. You're really going to have to play a little right of those now. And there's a couple of bunkers up on the hill to stop you doing that. So this is really a much tougher tee shot. 440 40 yards of par four just got a little bit more difficult. Seems to like it. Headed for the fat part of the green. This hole really sets up well not for the bad, player. Not Early bad, not bad, not bad. A chance for another one today. Shouldn't be a problem here. Uh, that's what you say. So one shot closer to the lead with that birdie. Frank, it was a great setting with great crowds. We saw plenty of very good golf. Your thoughts? 
I think the course really extracted some of the, the golf that we saw. It forced these players to play uh, just some great golf. And you know, it wasn't just like a you know, pitch and a putt golf course. So I, I, I think seeing the guys tested, so seeing the players tested at this level, um, it was a treat. Okay. So the next uh, day goes. Bail Club and Lodge. NBC Golf Channel on EA Sports in association with the PGA Tour, proudly presents the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today, it's live opening round coverage of the Arnold Palmer Invitational. So the action is underway, and we'll take you out now to our featured golfer here at number one. Stepping up to the first tee, Frank, what are some keys to be thinking about at this oh, point? Oh, my really word. Really got to pick a decent target. Really focus in on that. Don't really worry about left and right. What nice, good did I do win. yeah. Slow, if anything, off the first tee. We are about 170 yards from the hole. Damn it. So, Frank, out of the bunker and back into play. Yeah, the late Bobby Jones used to say the hardest shot in golf is always the next one. Well, by getting the ball back in play, he just made that a little easier. Not a problem there, Rich. Damn it. Not a good start. Just needs to keep it steady here over the putt. Frank, you can see by the reaction, it has been that kind of week. Just a par. <laughs> Back to the action here at the Bay Hill Club and Lodge. Second hole, it is a pretty demanding par three, Frank. Goal really is to just carry that front bunker or sneak it a little right of that and try and cheat it around. 
Appears to be what they call a commercial play. Very solid. That's well played. Now a good look at Birdie. It's no snack, though. Ah, oh, shit. Well, I thought they'd at least pick up a shot. Oh, God. Birdie looked like a sitter. He no like a bond, didn't he? This would give him the par. Even par, early on. Frank, now to the third hole here at Bay Hill. If you have a case of the snap hooks, <laughs> you're in some serious trouble here. You're going to run out of golf balls here as well, but a uh, good tee shot's going to leave you something like 150, 160 yards into a very narrow green. Pretty good drive here. Another straight one. Back in 1971, Frank, Arnold Palmer won the event. That was eight years before he actually became the host beat one of the sweet swingers in the game, Julius Boros, by a shot. Yeah, Julius Boros is certainly a name to remember and a rhythm that everybody would like to copy. But, uh, you know, in the mid-'70s, Arnold was just prolific. And uh, he, uh, he grew to really love and savor his own event. Once he put his name on it, the event just simply grew Stop. in stature. Shoot! You get the feel for spin. Good shot right there, about 15 feet away, and a good look at birdie. 14 feet to the hole. Oh, Vietnam. Well, you could see he's again. disgusted with that effort. Blah, 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 blah. Even par, currently. Why are you celebrating? That's a par. Even par. You're not going anywhere with a freaking par. Action is <laughs> underway, and we'll take you out to hole number four. Okay, Ivers. As we catch up with today's featured golfer, Frank, what's the key to generating some momentum? Just hitting good shots. I know it sort of sounds like the old cliche, but uh, plenty of opportunities. A few 10, 15 foot putts start going down. This round will change dramatically. That one is in the fairway, down there about 290 yards. And from the fairway for his second shot here. So simple flipping. How mauve is he so? Frank, really good chance from this position to make a birdie. Yeah, really the only thing he's looking at right now is the flag. Uh, this is a green light special. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Right there. Oh, so close. Settles in over the putt. I say, birdie, I say. Good job right there. Now making a move and setting himself up for who knows a good weekend run, maybe at another title. The I'm former college standout has been excellent today. Bubba Watson is on the uh, on the same scoreboard, yeah. Fiftieth. What? Okay. Big score to chase, yeah. NBC Golf Channel on EA Sports. 
in association with the PGA Tour, proudly presents the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. It's second round coverage of the Arnold Palmer Invitational. That is a really good tee shot right there, Frank. I think that tipped the 300-yard mark. Frank, the second shot here at number 11, another good-looking shot, not unlike the third hole with water along the left. What's the right way to play this? Obviously, you'd like to walk off 11 with three, but uh, four here never really hurts the scorecard. Uh, this is one hole you sort of play with an orange light feeling. A little right of the flag, that's absolutely fine. Terrific golf shot. And now, that for an easy birdie. Definitive. For birdie. So, second birdie. So birdie. And this score looks good too. Two under for the tournament. Frank, 574 yard par five. Scoring opportunity here. The breeze behind, once again, a reachable par five. Uh, the hardest thing about this hole really is the green. It's raised up a little bit, slopes off on either side. Nice long tee shot there and a good lie, Frank. Looks like he's going to have a go at it here at the par five. His second shot. This looks like it's going to find the target. Not too bad. It's about 23 feet away. He didn't hit the flag stick, but he still has a chance. And getting ready for the putt. I knew it. I had to go a little bit more, more, more on the left. Except to make it. Oh well, birdie. Par yesterday. Now for birdie. Frank, I'm sure it feels good to get some. Yo, celebrate the par cry, and I flip and skip the cup as a birdie cry. Out of reach at this point. No question. Unbelievable. Frank, the par four thirteenth, relatively short but not necessarily easy. Yeah, stringent tee shot. Uh, a lot of people attempted to take a bigger club off the tee. 300 yards runs out of the fairway, but really, what does that give you in? Frank, that golf ball sitting up like a red velvet cake in a bakery. It looks pretty, doesn't it? Time to take a bite of it. Savor it. <laughs> hit the next one close. Par 4, 13. Frank, how do you hit this approach shot? Rich, it's the first par four at Bay Hill where the water is actually on the right of the green, um, and that has to be taken into consideration. Just a little errant shot, and then you're going to be wet. So a little left of the flag, that's where you want to be. Just an incredible shot. That is a very makeable putt after a great approach. Well played. This from seven feet. Say, so, climbing up the ladder. Well, the time is now to start making birdies, and there we go. One on the board, and suddenly inside the top 20. Yeah, nothing to be ashamed of in that. I actually, need uh, an really eagle. Got to be yeah. aggressive from here on in. Overshoot, we need it. Another overshoot. Wow! 
that will be a great look at birdie. Not a gimme, but well within his range. And as yet. Sneaking into contention here. With that birdie. Top 15 now on the leaderboard. Frank, deep in the round at the 15th, you need to maybe make something happen. How difficult is that with such a huge dog like here? Once again, make sure you know the distance to carry the bunker or run out. You've got to play to your strength. That's a good spot right there. Send a cut. That ball's run out certainly over 300 yards, Frank. Call it about 310. Frank, what are you looking to do with this approach shot here at 15? Anytime the flag's on the front, uh, Rich, it's basically green light special. When the flag starts to get pushed towards that back area of that green, it starts to get narrower and narrower and narrower. And that's where you've got to be a little careful. Oh, solid strike right in the heart of the green. Oh, damn it. On the green, and looking at a birdie opportunity. Now this for birdie came away with par in the previous round. Needs a few more of those. That was a good birdie. Yeah, this time, that one gets him in the top ten. There you have it, Frank. The second round is complete. What are your thoughts? I think anybody looking at this leaderboard, anybody in the top ten of that leaderboard uh, is certainly in a good position to win. Uh, quality of the golf there in that first ten is excellent. NBC Golf Channel on EA Sports, in association with the PGA Tour, proudly presents the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today, it's live third-round coverage of the Arnold Palmer Invitational. Frank, I think that's going to the bunker. Looks like it. Bouncer, Bicky, we are. got away with one right there. Just missed that bunker. Yeah, that looked like it was sand the whole way. Trying to make yet another birdie. No! Yeah! The fill. Just a fraction too aggressive. Remember, line and speed go together. Sometimes you want that birdie so badly and... All of a sudden, you're faced with a lot of work, more work than you had hoped for, just to make the par. In for par. Okay. We're here at the 15th now, and a big dog leg right on this one. Frank, what's the best route to take to shoot the low number? You've got to look at that run out down the left side, which is about 320 yards. Um, if you can stay short of that, then that gives you a perfect shot into this green. Not bad. Now the approach shot, par four, 15th hole. Frank, break it <laughs> down. Green narrows up uh, the further back you go, so the most generous place to land the ball is in the front half of this green. It's also the flattest section of the green. Oh, oh shit. Headed for the fat part of the green. Yeah, whoa, 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 whoa. So a chance for birdie sure. after another solid approach shot. It's fair. Been pretty good all day from this distance, just trying to take care of business.
Get in there! Wow, I thought that was in. Damn it! Just to tap in to finish the hole. <laughs> I've celebrated Paul. Right yeah, Paul's won't win you the game! We've seen guys through the years blow the tournament right on this hole. Yeah, if you get a little too greedy here, you try and make eagle. Uh, <laughs> it's sometimes with a good tee shot, it's an easy four, but a three brings seven into play. Excellent start off the tee. That's a great way to begin this hole. Frankie could make eagle right here with a really good approach shot. Yeah, well, well within his reach, too. And, Rich, if we just uh, sit back and relax here, I think we're going to see perhaps a very good look at Eagle coming up. Yeah, boy, that's some one-looking Eagle. Player. That shot says it all. Shouldn't be a problem here. Putting up some yes. impressive numbers out here. Now. Nine under for the tournament. And the crowd goes wild. <laughs> Frank deep into a round. Par 3, 17. Water. Bunkers, long shot. What are you thinking as you're stepping on this tee? You just take three and move to 18. Appears to be a smart shot, Frank. Yeah, no problem here. That's going to fly all the way. Really in control of this hole. Birdie yesterday, and another opportunity on the way. Second shot. I'll say that's a clear birdie. And with that birdie, moves to third place. You know, Tiger was born on the same day as LeBron James, December 30th. And, and he's had his share of slam dunks, especially on the 18th hole here at Bay Hill. Yeah, he's just a perfect fit for the golf course. Um, you, you'd think every now and again he fears left, but he doesn't fear left at Bay Hill. Uh, we've seen his best golf over the years, over the last 15 or so years. To win there eight times, nobody's come close to that. Ernie Els, one of the great players in the world, has won it twice. Well, Frank, this is one of the most famous shots in the whole sport of golf, the second to 18 at Bay Hill. And one of the most unpredictable, unless your name is Robert Gamers. Remember, he held his second shot here to win the tournament many years ago. For some reason, the yardage book's almost got to be thrown away here at uh, 18 Rich because that second shot always plays longer or shorter than the actual number. So be a little lucky here, as well as good at 18. Whoa, blackies. Great way to finish off the final approach shot with this a birdie spin. opportunity. Birdie putt coming up. Had a par on this hole yesterday. Troy! Damn it. Very well done. Almost made it. Yeah, there'll be no stress for the next one. Par. Locked in on the read and the speed. Yo, I'm better to come in. Oh well. Solid par. In good position on the leaderboard. Yeah, second place. You get the impression that's going to change soon, too. Good third round, Frank, and a good spot heading to the final 18. Yeah, to be in the top five right now, the caliber of this field, know that uh, your game is good enough, too, and, and a legitimate chance of taking home the trophy come tomorrow night. This really is what all those hours on the range contribute to this moment right now.
NBC Golf Channel on EA Sports, in association with the PGA Tour, proudly presents the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today, it's live final round coverage of the Arnold Palmer Invitational. We're at the Bay Hill Club and Lodge in Orlando, Florida, site of one of the PGA Tour's premier stops, the Arnold Palmer Invitational. Always attracting a great field, and through the years, it has been the scene of just some championship play from one guy in particular. Tiger Woods has won there an incredible eight times. Wow, that is a monster drive down there, about 315 yards. Frank, really good chance from this position to make a birdie. Yeah, really the only thing he's looking at right now is the flag. Uh, this is a green light special. There's a big green, and they're going to use every inch of it. And it was almost like that's what he wanted to do, but why would you want it to run over the back? Wow, what a shot. What are the chances of making it from there? The Bay Hill Club and Lodge features a really exciting finishing stretch. 16 is a reachable par 5. You'll see eagles and birdies there coming home. 17, a very difficult par 3 over the water. The bunker is there. Takes an excellent shot. And that 18 is all you want. We know that with the water in front. That second shot, which comes over the lake. And that's a hold your breath moment. It is a great finishing three hole stretch at Bay Hill. But this one has a chance to be really good. I've seen some long tee shots, but it's the advantage to tee that ball up. Get it up there quickly, get the wind behind you. It's amazing how far you can hit it. Frank, this is really one of the fun spots in the golf course. The second shot here to the par 5 16th. It is. It's a, it's a cool vista when you're hitting that second shot across the lake. Uh, another high hanging second shot is really the way to play it. Um, that flag on the left, you've got to make sure you take enough club to at least carry the front third of this green. Frank, I hate to go negative, but let's clear a few things up. The penalties when you hit it in the water versus hitting it out of bounds? Yeah, some people, um, that's a good question, Rich, because some people think they're almost the same, but when you hit it out of bounds, you're actually losing stroke, a stroke and a distance. For example, if I'm teeing off on a, on a par four and I hit it out of bounds, I'm, I'm penalized a stroke for hitting it out of bounds and I'm hitting my third shot off the tee. When I hit it into a water hazard, um, I don't have to lose all of that distance. I can drop the ball up just short of the water hazard. So the distance penalty isn't the same as if it was out of bounds. This now the fourth shot after the last one was in the water. Yeah, just uh, somehow just get it on the green. And he's made the green. He has this attempt for par. damage done made the par always like this par 3 Frank par 3 17 let me amend that I like watching the best in the world play it because it can be daunting especially with the pressure ratcheted up when they have the tournament on this green is brick hard um, a little bit downhill that's about the only advantage you get This looks like it's going to find the target. Superb shot. Well, it's, uh, it's as good as it's going to get. There's going to be no worries about making that one. So a tester from four feet. Good 
good birdie right there, moving to third place on the leaderboard. 2008, Frank, Tiger made that 25-foot putt right here at the 18th, final round to beat Bart Bryant by a shot. Then again, for a second straight year, he birdied this hole to defeat Sean O'Hare. He's had a similar putt there uh, at least three or four times, actually, to win the event. And he's been the, one of the few players to read it correctly. He has given this one the full treatment. Perfect release through the ball. And this shot is on the fairway, over 300 yards. The second shot now to the par four. This hole really sets up well for the player. Birdie yesterday, and a chance for another one today. Birdie here yesterday. This putt again for Birdie. Frank, that birdie will help the cause. Well, that'll wrap up our coverage of the final round. This is Rich Lerner alongside Frank Novello for EA Sports. We'll see you next week. Well, finished in, in second, which is not bad, but that one uh, water as it was a bit of a bad one. Could have ended in first, but yeah, I'll take it. It's cool. Okay, that's the stream for today on uh, PGA Tour. My first try or at it. Um, I've already built, I've yeah, played some yesterday, but uh, it was quite, this was quite fun. But yeah, thanks for joining guys, and uh, I'll check you guys on the next one. Remember to uh, like, if you liked it, and subscribe for future, for future, future content, <laughs> for future content like this. Uh, we will be also be playing other games, like Call of Duty, uh, we'll be looking at Battlefield coming up, in Battlefield and yeah, see you guys later.